Donald Trump so far has won more Republican primaries than any other candidate. But he's done tremendously better in states where the primaries are open, meaning anybody can vote. Republicans, Democrats, independents, anybody. It's the Trump sign state. In the states where the primaries are closed, allowing only registered Republicans to vote, Trump does much worse. Look at the data. Of the 16 open primaries, Trump has won 13 of them. Of the 14 closed primaries, he's won less than half, just six. The data points to the narrative that Trump's campaign has been able to bring in outsiders, voters who don't traditionally vote in Republican primaries. The people that are voting are Democrats are coming in, independents are coming in, and very, very importantly, people that never voted before. It's an incredible thing. All these theories exist, but it's not obviously clear which is the big driver. What is clear is Trump's outperformance in open primaries. Another fact that's clear, voter turnout in this cycle has risen dramatically, but that's just for the Republicans, not for the Democrats. One unique data point from Ohio, Trump actually did better with self-identified Democrats who are voting in the Republican primary than he did with actual Republicans or independents. Of the 19 remaining primaries, 13 of them are closed, which could be bad news for Trump, who is trying to wrap up the nomination, and good news for Republicans opposed to Trump and are hoping for a brokered convention in Cleveland. According to data sourced by Ken Show, the stock market does much better when there is clarity after Super Tuesday primaries. If there's continued uncertainty about a brokered convention in the summer, we might see more unrest in the markets. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.